Today we are deep in the jungle to observe the orangutans in the native habitats. Many people associate orangutans with trees, but it <coughs> But, <clears throat> but today we find Mallory, just a typical teenage orangutan, home with her parents. While her classmates are out at the party, Mal can't find the confidence and charisma to leave the house. But does Mal still wish she was at the party? Introducing Jungle Fever Hairspray. Don't be a tame orangutan. Embrace your wild side. With Jungle Fever Hairspray, Mal can go to the party feeling free, fierce, and feral. <laughs> you go, girl. Er, um, uh, monkey ape. But Order Jungle Fever Hairspray. Don't call anybody. Don't go to any website. It doesn't exist. But while you're here, stay tuned to watch. I'm going to show you how the look was made. Hello. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is prep your skin. And after you're done with that, we're going to move on straight to the face cast. Okay, so this is my face cast and this is air dry clay. I made the prosthetics out of this because this is the easiest and quickest way to do it. I'm also allergic to latex, which is why I used this. But in the end, I ended up using liquid latex. So... <laughs> And now we gotta hide all of this beautiful, beautiful hair under a bald cap. And because I don't have a bald cap, I used a wig cap instead. I drenched it in liquid latex just so that I can paint over it. And I'm taping it right now just so that it has a better hold. Moving on to the brows, I'm just blocking it with a glue stick so that I can glue my prosthetic over it. I'm using wig glue to apply the monkey face onto my face because at first I thought I wasn't going to use liquid latex and also liquid latex isn't actually a glue so it doesn't really stick things onto your face once it dries. And now, at the moment we've all been dreading, liquid latex and cotton balls. I am doing this to blend out the edges of the prosthetic into the ball cap so it has a seamless finish. My nose was itching so bad so I just like poked a brush in there and scratched it out. Baby powder. I will be using these lipsticks from NYX as a face paint because they are the right shade of blue that I need for this orangutan. And to make the colors blend better, I used face oil. Baby powder! Using a black eyeshadow, I'm just darkening the parts that needs to be darkened just to create more dimension. I realized that this face mask was too smooth, so I added some texture using this foundation. That is the last step for this first look. This is like the nerdy orangutan. I'm gonna call her Mallory because Mallory, malaria, jungle fever, get it? She is ready to get some glam on.
you know at first i thought i was just gonna leave her with like her blue skin but then i decided like if you're gonna put makeup on her might as well like put everything on her When life gives you glitter, sprinkle it all over your face. Ooh, she cute, but not yet. I felt like it was kind of lacking in the animal department, so I was like, you know what, let's paint some tiger straps on this bit. It ended up looking kind of zebra, but let's just say it's tiger, okay? Because zebras don't live in jungles. And because the tiger stripes didn't look too um, fierce, I decided to go on this side and say, you know what? I'ma paint some leopard prints. Giving you some Lisa Frank realness. If you don't know who that is, look it up. So I styled this hair and also sewed in the green parts, the fringe part, because this is not a lace front. And I link the tutorial for this hair in the description box because I got it off from Online Kind. I'm gonna put a tiny spritz of jungle fever hairspray in there. This is actually just a normal hairspray and I designed and printed out the logo and everything. And there you have it. Oh, isn't she a beauty? Doesn't she give you the ooh, 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 ah, 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 sensation?